When a small company announces they're reducing their lithium mining targets, it often goes unnoticed. However, when the world's largest EV battery maker makes such an announcement, it's definitely a matter of interest. Experts have predicted that the global need for lithium-ion battery cells will skyrocket to 4,700 gigawatt hours by 2030. And if this prediction is true, there will be an increased demand for raw materials such as lithium. Then why is the world's largest EV battery maker cutting their lithium mining targets? Are they up with some new technology? Or is there a different reason behind this decision? Let's find out. Many of you might not even know who the world's largest EV battery maker is. Well, it's none other than contemporary Amperex Technology Co. Limited. Established in 2011, CATL focuses on producing lithium-ion batteries, which are crucial components for electric vehicles and energy storage systems. The company is also involved in creating battery management systems that enhance the efficiency and safety of battery usage. As of making this video, CATL is an established global leader, with 37.8% of the global EV battery market. And for your information, BYD is the second largest EV battery manufacturer, holding 15.8% of the market share. Both are Chinese companies and are representing their home country very well in terms of EV battery manufacturing. But what has caused CATL to cut its lithium mining targets? I mean, isn't it kind of risking the top position in the global market for something new? Many of us would think of it this way. But CATL's decision is actually a part of its sustainability strategy. The company aims to reduce the impact of mining and refining lithium on the environment. But what about the rising demand for lithium-ion batteries? Well, when you can come up with something better, you don't need to worry about the demand because it will create its own market. Before jumping into that awesome something better, let me first tell you about what happened after CATL made its big decision. When CATL announced that it would cut down on lithium mining, it was like a lightning bolt in the stock market. In the US, the stocks of lithium companies shot up like fireworks. Companies such as Albermail, SQM, Lithium Americas, and Standard Lithium saw their stocks zooming upward as investors quickly reacted to the existing changes in the lithium market. On one side, CATL was trying to save the environment, and on the other side, investors were making big bucks. Currently, it seems like other battery manufacturers are cashing in on this opportunity because the world relies heavily on lithium-ion batteries and can't afford to fall short of supply. Now, let's talk about that something better I mentioned earlier. CATL is working towards developing a new generation of sodium-ion batteries. Instead of using lithium, these batteries will use sodium as their primary ingredient. Sodium is more abundant and easier to obtain than lithium, making it a more sustainable option. Over the years, it was all about lithium-ion batteries because they are known for their high energy density. But no one could ignore the fact that lithium was rare and pricey to extract. Not to mention, making those lithium-ion batteries involves copper, which is another finite resource. On the other hand, sodium has been waiting for its time to shine. So, it might finally be here. Sodium is much more common, 500 times more to be exact, and it can be easily collected from seawater, which is pretty amazing. When it comes to building batteries, sodium-ion batteries use aluminum instead of copper, which makes them much cheaper to produce. Now, I know most of you will comment saying that lithium has always been the gold standard for energy storage, but let me tell you why sodium is starting to catch attention. Sodium might be less dense and traditionally viewed as less efficient than lithium, but amazing technological advancements are turning this perception on its head. Sodium-ion batteries are proving to be increasingly viable. Not only do they come with the benefits of higher operational temperature ranges and reduced fire risks, but they also charge faster than their lithium-ion counterparts. Just think about that time when you plug in your EV and get a full charge in a fraction of the time. Plus, with a lifespan that is three times longer, these batteries are setting new standards. Innovations like these make sodium-ion technology a great alternative to lithium-ion. And it is why CATL has cut down on its lithium mining targets. So, what's the progress on sodium-ion battery technology? I know there have been a lot of bold claims in the past few months, but this time we can actually see the initiative. China has taken a big step forward by launching the first phase of the world's largest sodium-ion battery energy storage system, or BESS. This impressive facility is operated by Datang Hubei Energy Development, a state-backed company under the State-Owned Asset Supervision and Administration Commission. The inaugural phase of the sodium-ion battery project is situated in Qingjiang, a city in Hubei province, and it's already operational. 
This facility boasts a power capacity of 50 megawatts and an energy storage capacity of 100 megawatt hours, significantly contributing to the energy supply in the region. Published reports from Haikai Global and Hina Battery suggest ambitious plans to rapidly expand its capacity to 100 megawatts and 200 megawatt hours, which would position it as the world's largest sodium ion battery project. This existing setup includes 42 large battery storage containers, each equipped with 185 amp hour sodium ion batteries, alongside 21 systems designed to facilitate power conversion and a robust 110 kilovolt booster station. This infrastructure underscores a remarkable advancement in battery technology and energy storage solutions, potentially redefining sustainable energy landscapes. Just for your information, China is currently leading the way in making batteries and refining lithium, even though it only has a small 6% of the world's lithium reserves. That's right, just 6%. But it has lots of important minerals needed for making a new kind of battery called sodium ion batteries. These batteries are seen as a future solution with lots of exciting possibilities. Li Shujun, who is in charge of Haina Battery, says we might see a huge industry for these terawatt hour sodium ion batteries by the year 2030. This big plan shows how China is pushing for new ideas and could change how we use and store energy in the future. So, how long will this shift take to reshape the energy landscape? While sodium ion batteries are on the rise, the demand for lithium may eventually decrease, influencing the mining sector and changing market scenarios. Currently, lithium stocks are enjoying a temporary surge due to CATL's decision to reduce lithium extraction. However, as the shift towards sodium ion batteries gains momentum, we may see a massive change in the market. This was all about CATL's decision to cut down on lithium mining and the potential rise of sodium ion batteries. Yeah, the world is heavily dependent on lithium ion batteries right now, but the shift towards sodium ion technology could bring a change that would benefit the environment and investors. China's leadership in the battery and lithium industry has made this shift possible, and it will be exciting to see how this technology develops and shapes the future of sustainable energy. However, we just have to wait and see if this new generation of batteries can live up to the hype and surpass the efficiency and reliability of lithium-ion batteries. The race for a better, more sustainable battery is on, and only time will tell which technology comes out on top. Let me know in the comments if you appreciate CATL's decision to reduce lithium mining and if you believe sodium-ion batteries have the potential to overtake lithium-ion batteries in the near future. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on what you feel the sodium-ion battery industry could bring in the coming years. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content on what's going on in the automotive world. Thank you so much for watching!